Let's talk about gouache. The paint that has taken the art world by storm. Up until maybe two years ago, I've never heard of gouache. Never heard of it. I've used watercolor and acrylic, but never heard of gouache. Until, you know, I got bombarded of all the jellies. You can get jelly gouache, you can get syrup gouache, you can get crumbly gouache, sunbathing gouache, edible gouache. You, you, the list goes on. It's gouache this, gouache that. And it's time to try gouache. Let's do this. So I was gifted a gouache set about two years ago. Did not know what to do with it. Did not know how to use it, but I wanted to try it. So let me show you my first gouache attempt using these student grade, like they weren't that good. But since this is the first time I'm using gouache, I guess I really don't have an opinion on it. I just went in with the color pencil sketch and kind of just wish for the best. I did go a little bit more cartoony in this sketch because I wanted to just get a good feel. I went down with the a bluish yellow base. As you can see, it's a little bit more on the yellow side. I also had to tape it down and take it out of the sketchbook because it's kind of bubbling up and acting funny. As you could probably tell, I was a little nervous. I was a little hesitant and I was kind of treating this like watercolor. And then I kind of went a little overboard with the thickness of the paint because I was using it like watercolor in the beginning and I just went in with the with the thickness, which was clearly not a good idea because everything just became so chalky after that point. No matter how dark I wanted to go, it ended up getting so chalky. Even the highlights started to tone down. I'll let y'all watch the rest. So here's the final result. Obviously I could have done a lot better, but uh, you know, this was my first time. I have not touched gouache since, but I wanted to learn a little bit more. So I reached out to the gouache king himself, Scott Sava. We chatted a bunch about different gouache, how to use gouache. I got the gouache rundown, the gouache 101 by Scott Sava. <coughs> I felt pretty special and shout out to Scott. I did buy some fancy gouache. Windsor and Newton gouache. This has been sitting in my cubby for about eight months, so let's go ahead and bust it out. <coughs> Meet me at the desk. Come, come, welcome to the desk. So here's the gouache. Let me first show you all the materials that I'm gonna be using. A friend of mine had got this for me. They said it was really good for gouache and watercolor. It has that seal, so it's gonna stay juicy. I got this for my water. I'm gonna be sketching with colored pencils. Now this might be a big no-no, but I'm gonna be using my recycled Bristol paper. It's pretty good, like it's a pretty good thick paper, so I'm hoping that it's gonna work. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up this Windsor and Newton designers. The box is so thin. <laughs> thin, ooh, we got a booklet. Y'all know I love booklets. This, this booklet is not booklitting. Oh, oh, it's a map. Oh, it's a whole ass man. Oh, wow. That's all the colors that I don't have. Okay. It's not a booklet. It's a pamphlet. Love that. Oh, okay. Wow. This is it. This is, this is the hype. So this is all the hype. This is the designer's gouache. The packaging could have been better, but you know, we're not here for that. We're here to try out what's in the tin can. So let me stop judging. Should I just, do I just... Do I just stick it in there? Just stick it in there? How much do I use? Do I fill it up? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. I don't think I need much more than that, right? That should be plenty. I feel like that's a lot. Maybe I'm just cheap, but like, is that, isn't that, a, is that a lot? Okay, so we have, we have all the colors I need, pretty much, right? I'm gonna make my own colors real quick. I'm gonna make like a, like an orange and a brown. I'm gonna make an orange and a brown real quick. Take some of this green, some of this yellow. Oh my God, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I hope I'm not wasting this. It was so expensive. So, these are my colors. I think it might be nice having a more limited palette. That way I'm not, you know, doing too much. So, let's get the paper and tape it down. Did y'all enjoy that little ASMR? 
anyways this was me serving in uh, you know a little hiking trip that i took last year really fun really nice and i thought the 0.5 uh, aspect ratio or whatever would be really fun to draw I've never really done that before so this was kind of a challenge sketching it out but it was worth it because I think it ended up looking really cool especially the sketch now one thing I did learn was to not use watercolor pencil color pencil right do not use watercolor pencil if you plan on using watercolor <laughs> because when I laid the first layer of paint down my whole entire sketch was gone. I also didn't spray it. I didn't know you could uh, or if I should, but and this was also not watercolor paper, so I was a little nervous on, you know, whether to do that or not. I'm also a little stupid. I forgot to film the first, you know, me putting the paint down. So this is the this is me after a couple minutes of like trying to figure it out. As you can probably see, that sketch was smearing it and I was getting a little nervous. So I was like, let me let me have that first layer dry. And then I went back to it. And it, it just made it worse. So uh you know, I wasn't stressing. I just went in with some black and pretty much did an outline, which I've seen people use gouache and they, they've they done that before. They go in with the black outline with their sketch. So that kind of helped me in, in this scenario. My shop is currently open with originals and prints. Go ahead and check it out. Snag yourself some black bean art at blackbeancms.com. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. Let's do some gouache. Sorry about that. I had to do some self-promotion, you know, no shame, but uh, I actually opened the shop not too long ago. It's been doing really well, so thank you so much to everybody who's made a purchase, and thank y'all so much for watching, and if you are watching at this point, if you could, could you go into the comments and tell me how you think gouache is spelled, but I want you to spell it incorrectly. To this day, I still spell gouache incorrectly. Who put an A in gouache? I plead the fifth. Anyways, as you can see, I am going layer by layer by layer on this face. This was so difficult to do. And at the end of this drawing, I will show you the texture. There's a lot of texture because I went so many layers deep into this face. And it was, it was tricky because, like I said, every time I put something down, I feel like it would be 10 times lighter the second it dried. It would get so chalky. Unfortunately, I ran into the same mistake I did with the original drawing. I went in too thick, and then I tried to go in with like these glazes, these kind of glazes on it, thinking that it would help the, the depth, the contrast, but it really didn't. It just changed up the color slightly. It would tint the color no matter how dark I went. It would just tint it slightly because there's so much white. I did end up using a lot of white in this painting, which I know now was probably not the best decision, I guess I don't, I don't once again this is only my second time using gouache I'm learning Oh, the beautiful blue sky. When I tell you, I I actually enjoyed do, doing this landscape for the first time in a long time. Clouds and skies, I feel like I could eat them up. You know, they're not they're not too bad. But when I tell you the landscape, the 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 grass, the you know, capturing the twigs and the little trees and the bushes, what the hell? How do you do that? Because my abstract you know, technique came into play here because I just winged it. I winged it. Did it does it look good? Does it capture well? I have no idea, but it, it's probably a lot better than what I did with these damn clothes because this shirt also probably has a million layers. Where did all that white go in that little tube? I spent seven dollars worth of white probably just on this shirt alone. I need to go get some more white.
before I forget, I want to ask, did anybody else just figure out what gouache was? Did like, am I the only one? Am I the odd, oddball out? Like, did anybody else just figure out what gouache was? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh God, here we go. Here we go with the background. Y'all don't eat me up in the comments. Stop it. But uh, I tried. I tried my best. So my thinking was, you know, if I don't do well with gouache, I can always go over some certain parts with just some color pencil. I've seen a lot of people create amazing things with just color pencil on top of gouache, you know, just to add more depth, all that stuff. I, however, did not want to do that. I wanted to go just straight up gouache there. Now, don't let me lie to you because I did use, you know, some color pencils on the, the stripes in the shirt. But that was about it because then I, I came to the conclusion, I just want to go straight up gouache and I don't really want to do much else. And I'll in my next project, I'll do that. But I just want to really use gouache for what it is. You know what I mean? It's because I'm just so simple like that. I just want to be so forthcoming with my information. But no, I, I'm not going to lie. I was, I was about to be like, let me just go over color pencil because I know I could like really just make this so much better. But... I don't know. It's not like it's cheating to use color pencil. I just feel like if I'm going to really try gouache, I'm going to execute the whole vision with just gouache. You know what I mean? And here we are. This is it. This is me. This is real. This is me. This is my gouache attempt number two. What do y'all think? Let me know. Like I said, don't eat me up with the foreground because I don't know how to do backgrounds that well, but did I eat it up? I wish I would have went darker in the face and the hands and all that because it just looks so chalky, but we always have a second opportunity. And as always, I hope you guys stay creative, stay juicy. Don't forget, I do have my shop open if you guys want to snag some original art. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later.